boot type 2, lid cheek blending. Either the lateral cheek or nasal jugal insertion ports can be utilized for this technique. When using the lateral cheek insertion port, a pinch and pull maneuver elevates the abicularis muscle and facilitates passage of the blunt cannula deep on the orbital rim overlying the medial and lateral sooth compartments. This demonstrates an undesirable vector toward the retroceptal fat pad. Rather, we recommend small, oblique aliquot injections placed over the curvature of the inferior orbital rim, passing caudally into the upper limits of the prezygomatic space. Conceptually, the objective is to fuse and blend the lower lid and cheek in a dynamic fashion. Small to mid-sized particle filler with higher G prime values are suggested. Single injection gap filling can create a double fold when the patient smiles, yielding a less natural look and resulting in a sausage effect seen here. When the injector places the cannula in the subabicularis plane, they will feel a glide along the bone. In this specimen, we utilize a pinch and pull technique and pass the cannula along the orbital rim. We demonstrate the depth of our cannula in the subabicularis plane. The nasal jugal insertion port can be utilized for more immediately focused lid cheek blending.